holy cow, it's sunny out there today. That must mean spring's coming. And if spring's coming, that must mean Lent's getting going. We're moving on. It's almost the third Sunday. So why not make something really different for the third week of Lent here? On today's episode of Mi Gatillo, the North Country Latino, we're going to make two recipes actually in the one dinner. We're going to use some tomatoes and some onions with some fish and make pescado con perejo from Mexico. And we got some potatoes here for a Peruvian recipe. Papas Juan Caina. So tonight we're going to go meatless once again on a Friday and have some food. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put the tomatoes and the onions over the fish. And that just kind of decorates everything, but it makes it real juicy on top. So what I do with it now, look at that, it's all colorful and everything. I take a little of the adomo. Just sprinkle it lightly over the top. And then I take some breadcrumbs and sprinkle them lightly. Let me get a little later. I like Italian breadcrumbs myself. Just because they have a little extra spice in them. Then I take parsley and sprinkle that over the top. And then I just do a little spray. Give it some brown. And guess what? It's ready to go in the oven. What can I tell you? Okay, while the potatoes are cooking, I got this kind of mixture of cream cheese and some fat-free heavy whipping cream, which I know it isn't heavy whipping cream when it's fat-free, but oh well, and also yellow pepper. And I'm going to mix that together, and that goes on the potatoes once they're done. And fish is in the oven. There we go. Mixing that all together. Actually, even using fat-free cream, it's, it's real thick still. It saves you on some of the calories and stuff, you know? Keeps it nutritious. And it's time to take the potatoes off. Now what I'm going to do is take this cheesy pepper sauce, put it into a uh, saucepan, if you will, sauce for sauce, and stir it around so it gets a little creamy and warmer. Like I said, using the fat free doesn't make it weak and, and uh, too thin or anything like that. It worked out really good. I can't complain. So that's warming and the potatoes are staying warm and the fish is coming so we're getting there. What I gotta do here is I gotta bed of lettuce and then take the potatoes and put them on the lettuce. So it kind of comes across like a salad, even though it's really not. Kind of a hot salad, if you will. I'm gonna turn down our sauce. It's bubbling pretty good on me, holy cow. But it's nice and creamy. Pretty much ready to go, if you ask me. I think I'm gonna take that off the stove. That's the one thing with these electric cooktops, you just gotta watch out. This stuff can burn easy, you know, we don't want that.
Well, I hope everybody out there is having the best Quaresma, the best Lent that they can. <clears throat> we think of thankfulness at the holidays in November and December, but there's a lot of things to be thankful for, even during times of year like this. And, you know, having good food is just as important this time of year as it is at Thanksgiving or Christmas or any other time. So a good Lent recipe is just as good as your favorite bean casserole in December. And I know back in the day we'd always go out for fish fry where my mom would take us and everything. But I'm glad I found some recipes to make some things happen, you know? i uh, get rid of that one. Oh well. And now what I do, wow, the sun is really coming in. Look at how it shines off those potatoes. Holy cow. I'm going to just spoon this sauce with the cream cheese and the peppers and the whipping cream over it. Now that everything's been warmed, it'll stay nice and warm. The fish is almost done, so that's going to come out of the oven in a few minutes. So part one is done. Papas Huancaina from Peru. And there's the fish. Pescado Pon Corregio from Mexico. And Papas Huancainas from Peru. Perfect Lent combination para Cuaresma. Well, folks, let's make a deal. El Norte Latino. Think it's time to eat.